guys and welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's video. So today I'm going to be planning for Monday, December 6th through Sunday, December 12th. Um, this week I'm going to be using one of my favorite kits for December, which is kit 70. So I have 70A for the hourly, 70B for the hourly. I also have some add-ons as well. I have the ombre checklist, the um, icons, and then I have a couple of the freebies. These are available for December in my shop starting with like January. So like probably middle to end of December, I'll have um, new freebies that are not related at all to kits. So um, it'll just be like new sample stickers that you can try out. They won't be like kit specific at all. Um, I liked to do like these types of freebies because I wanted to add more functional stickers for some of the older kits. But now that we are officially going to be in January soon um, and getting into like all of the extra add-ons and the new sampler pages and stuff that have a lot more functional stickers, I'm no longer going to offer the kit specific ones. So just figured I'd mention that. Before we get into the plan with me, I'm going to flip over to last week. Last week I used the mystery kit, so if you don't want to see that, you might want to skip a little bit ahead. And I wanted to really quickly apologize. The lighting might be off. I normally film all my videos in the morning, but today is Thursday and Jason actually had a doctor's appointment, which meant that I took Macy to school and I got to work about an hour later than normal. Totally fine. Again, his doctor's appointments are only like every year. So it's not that big of a deal, but it did mean that like my day was a little off. So I apologize if the lighting is a little weird. So Monday was Cyber Monday. Um, I have officially gotten out all of the Black Friday sales, all of the, um, small business Saturday sales. And actually I got a big, not a big chunk, but I got probably 30 or so Cyber Monday sales out today. So that's great. I did increase my processing time. I think it's between three and four weeks. I'm hoping that it does not take that long, but we do have a lot of things that we need to restock. We're also cutting all of the February stuff. So just kind of bear with us as we, you know, get through all the orders. Um, I'm hoping that we get a lot of them out next week, but again, just kind of bear with us. So that was Cyber Monday. Um, I had my orthodontist appointment and sadly I have to say I do have to get new aligners again. I don't know how many they're going to be and I don't know if it means that I'm going to have to get top and bottom. Um, it's kind of a bummer, but they did file in between my two bottom teeth, uh, like the two, like ones in the front. And I think they over filed because now there's a gap where there never was a gap before. So I think they have to close that. So it might mean a lot of like moving for teeth, which is kind of a bummer, but, um, that's what we're going to be working on. Um, you guys will see change aligners more <laughs> often. Um, lots and lots of just getting orders out, working on February stuff. Um, Macy had a book fair on Wednesday, which was really fun. Um, tomorrow, we're just going to be working on orders. We're gonna be working on cutting kit 80 for February. Um, and then we have dinner at Jason's parents' house. We're gonna be doing like a downtown Chicago day um, with some family this weekend. So yeah, lots of fun work stuff. Um, I did not work out on Wednesday because I was really sore. And then I did like kind of a partial workout today because I had to leave to like be home in time. So I'm definitely going to work out on Saturday. Um, I definitely need to. So anyway, let's go ahead and get into the actual plan with me because I have been talking for a while now and I haven't actually planned anything yet. So um, I'm gonna try something a little different this this week it's not going to be anything dramatic i've really found what i love with my planner and like the style that i like so i'm going to stick to that my plan for um my plan for kits just in case you're wondering for december is i was hoping to use this kit this week and then um i was thinking about using kit 71 for the 13th through the 19th and then kit 73 for the 20th through the 26th because I really like 73 as like my um 73 is like my main Christmas kit I feel like it's just very Christmassy and um also like kind of like um colorful and stuff which is what I think about for Christmas especially now that we have kids I feel like it just it's very like colorful and things like that. So that's what I'm thinking in terms of kits. I 
um, I think it'll be really fun to be able to do something like that. So we'll see. And then I think I'm going to I'm trying to think of exactly how I want to do this. I think I'm going to line it up with this line, but I want to use some of this cute skinny washi. Um, I used this in my monthly view, so I figured I would maybe use the rest of it in this plane with me. I love the skinny washi, like complementing the thicker washi, and kind of a fun thing is the skinny washi is available on the weekly or the the washi kits going forward. So if you want to like pick those up, like pick up the washi, you can do that. But they're also available, like the skinny washi is also available with the like actual washi tape. So that's kind of fun too. That like you know you'll get a matching. Um, skinny washi tape, which is fun. I'm definitely excited to use some more washi tape. Um, I'm hoping to use more starting in January, like with the all of the like January washi. I think it'll be fun to have more options and stuff. So I'm excited about that. But I like how that turned out. I think that looks super cute. Just a little bit more decorative than normal, but um, I think it'll be cute. And then I'm gonna use this like thin washi. So that's skinny washi, thin washi up at the top. So I can make more of a square line up here. I don't like the curved lines that they have. I feel like it looks weird with the date cover. So I'm just going to put that up as well. And both of the, um, these like horizontal stripe type of washi will go good together. So I think it'll look cute. So yeah, anyway, um, me and my brother have been really, really busy trying to get everything out, everything restocked, everything ready for February's releases. The February kits will be going live on the 10th, which I'll put in, but um, it's really exciting because the kits are beautiful. Um, I'm not going to like talk too much about the kits, except for the fact that they are really beautiful. There are two kits that I think you guys will have expected from me. Like I think knowing my style, you'll be like, okay, that makes sense. And then there are two kits that are definitely a little bit more out of my comfort zone, but I think they go really well with the whole theme for the month. Um, and I think it's just one, one of them I am really excited about. Um, and you'll know which one I'm talking about when you see them. But I am really excited about all the kits. We already got the washi in, so we don't have to worry about, like, you know, timing with that. But, yeah, I'm super excited for you guys to be able to see everything. It's always so fun to see how you guys like the designs and everything. And you guys seem to really enjoy everything for January. So I'm hoping that you guys enjoy everything for February as well. And I need to, like this upcoming weekend, I need to design everything for Fe for March because I need to put in that washi order. It takes quite a while to get the washi. Um, so you have to do things like way in advance, which is totally fine, not a big deal, but just something that I have to like plan for. And then I'm gonna go ahead and use this really pretty Joy to the World sticker there for the sidebar. I think this will be perfect. Okay, so we have that. Oh gosh, I'm loving this already. I feel like this is just making me feel like it's Christmas time. Um, I am probably one of the only people who will, who thinks this way, but I think because I'm so busy with um, like my two kids and with my business, like I feel like I'm always so busy with my business stuff that like this is the case, but um I just like after Thanksgiving is when I start thinking about Christmas. I don't start thinking about Christmas until then. And again, I know that might be not normal. Like I feel like a lot of people get super excited for Christmas time and I do, but I don't buy Christmas presents before Thanksgiving. I don't decorate before Thanksgiving. Like in my house growing up, Thanksgiving was like kind of the point in time where you would like you would start everything like you would start you would start figuring everything out for christmas time um but you always waited until that point so it's just so weird for me um that like when i go into buy like 
Christmas decorations or Christmas tree the weekend after after Thanksgiving that everything is gone. Like we seriously just decorated a, a you know last weekend right after Thanksgiving and there was one Christmas tree left like at the store that we were looking at. We ended up getting really lucky. I think I might have mentioned this in like one of my budget videos but we did get really lucky. We went to Michael's of all places. I went there to get cardstock for dividers and I saw they had Christmas trees and they were like very fairly priced and they looked really good quality. We threw out our old Christmas tree that we had for like eight, not eight or nine years last year. So we needed a new one and um, it just worked out really nicely because they had one Christmas tree left and it was like under a hundred dollars and it's perfect. It fits our house perfect. I think it'll fit like our next house well too. So yeah, it ended up working out really nicely, but I was honestly kind of shocked like that a lot of the Christmas stuff is gone. When I went this week to look for Christmas pajamas, there was seriously one pair that like we had sizes for everybody in our family. Like it's just crazy to me. It's not Christmas time yet, but I get it because there's a lot of s supply shortages and things like that. So of course you have to be proactive. I am just not like prepared to be that proactive if that makes any sense. I do want to put a, um, I do really want to put a little box for my reading, but I'm going to figure that out. So I'm not going to do that just yet. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and mark like what days I'm planning for. I've been doing this for a while and it works out really nice. So the 6th and the 13th, I do want to put together some like transparent dots. I think that'll be good, um, to, a good addition for my shop, but I haven't been able to like test that out yet. We've just been so busy with everything else. So I will do that at some point. I'm going to go ahead and put in my workouts. I really love putting my workouts with these two-toned boxes here and I do plan to work out um, five days this week. I don't know if it will happen that way because I kind of like to see how my body is feeling. If I'm really tired, if I'm sore, then I'll kind of skip days. But I try not to skip days just because I'm busy with work. I feel like that's I don't know. I don't like to do that. I know sometimes you have to but I really try not to do that because I feel like um, working out is good for me. Um, it helps like the days that I'm busy. I feel like the days that I work out, I feel a lot better. So, um, I try not to skip working out just because I'm busy and I never regret going like that's the thing. So anyway, um, I'm going to plan on going Monday through Thursday and then Saturday. And if anything changes, the nice thing about my stickers are they are like removable, reposition repositionable, so it'll work out nicely that way. But I did get into all my workout classes, which is good. And then I'm going to put this a little bit lower. Mm, maybe not. Maybe I won't. Maybe I'll just put it at the same time. My workout classes on Saturday are purely lifting, so I don't have to worry about, um, I don't have to worry about like, running and it's also a shorter class so that's kind of something that's a little different um i want to go ahead and put my weekend banner down so i think i'm going to use the washi from this full boxes page that i have i actually use this um, a lot of the boxes for my monthly view so i think what i'm going to do is put that down right around here kind of cover up a little bit of those times. It's not going to cover it perfectly, but that's okay. I love this kit. It just makes me feel like Christmas time is coming. So Macy's elf, and I guess I, I should say Macy and Mila's elf, because we only have one elf, um, is officially coming to our house now, which is super exciting. Um, so Macy has been loving it, like going to go find him every morning. That's been super fun. Um, I have not done any Christmas shopping at all. I don't even know what to get the girls. I feel like they have so much stuff as it is. And then we have family members constantly asking us like, what do you, what do you guys want for them? We were thinking about getting them a, um, a children's museum pass so that they can go more often like Jason and Mila have been going a lot um, so that would be useful 
but besides that I honestly have no idea so if you guys have some ideas for a almost six year old and an almost two year old let me know I feel like we just have so many toys as it is that we literally don't need anything else but of course it's always fun to like give the kids stuff so um okay okay so now I need to put a few things in I need to put in my videos I need to put in um, some other things too. So let's start with appointments. I feel like that'll be a good place to start. So Jason does have a dentist appointment on the 7th. So at 4 p.m. We'll put that in. So that'll be pretty easy because I won't really have to leave work early. I could go pick up Macy and he can just focus on going to the dentist so that'll be good there and we were thinking about going to the zoo for lights but I don't think that's actually happening anymore I think we weren't able to get the tickets so I'm going to take that off but the hating game is coming out on the 10th if you guys have read that book um, that's coming out on the 10th, so I'm definitely going to put that in, but I don't know if we're going to watch it on the 10th. Like, I'm, we're thinking about maybe having, like, a sleepover with the girls, with Jason's parents, and then going on a date night. So I'm going to put it in, but I don't know if we're actually going to see it that day. So, again, nice thing that I can move my stickers around. But I do have new releases on Friday. So let me grab my sticks, my scripts little binder here. This sticker book is actually currently out of stock in my shop, but there will be a new shipment coming like in, it should actually come like this following week. It's going to be of like, you'll have the option to pick this one here, which is the original version and also another version. So it's going to be really exciting. So definitely look out for that. I am, I am excited to show you guys. Um, what the new version is going to look like. And I'm definitely going to be using that one. Um, for sure. Like I am so excited about it. I think I'm going to use this cute little flag thing here um, for my new releases. I think I'm just going to use that and that will be at 9 a.m. But I'm actually going to move that I think because I'm going to put videos down. So new releases on Friday, those will be the February new releases. So definitely mark your calendars. They're going to be really, really, really pretty. Um, I think I'm going to use these guys to put my videos in because then I can mark them off if I do them or not, or as I like edit them and get them up. So Monday will be my day in the life. And then you know I have my new release video that I have to do. So I think Wednesday will be my week one. Check in. And then Thursday will be my February new releases. And then my plan with, with me will be up on Friday. So you can go ahead and put those in. I, I wanted to experiment with something new. So I think these will be good because I can mark them off as I go. As I'm like done with the video and the video is uploaded. So that'll be good. And it brings in some more of the blue, which is always good. So Thursday will be my new release video. Gonna have to take the time to, to film that. That's always such, honestly, it's kind of a pain to film it. It's, you just have to pull so much stuff and there's just a lot to show. So yeah, it's gonna be, it's gonna be fun filming that for sure. And then I need to grab those same stickers. Luckily I have a couple of those freebies because I need to mark that I need to sign up for my class, my workout class. So sign up orange theory and then I need to charge my heart rate monitor on Sunday. I think I can honestly make it to I think I can make it to full weeks without charging it because I haven't charged it yet. 
but I like to put that in just because if I think about it, then it'll be good to get it done and out of the way. And I like to just put that like last thing at night because I feel like on Mondays, normally the, um, the sign up comes earlier than at night, but sometimes it doesn't. And then same thing, like I'll remember to charge my heart rate monitor, um, like right before I go to bed. I'm actually gonna move that up a little bit because I don't like it like right against the washi. I'm gonna move that up a little bit. So I have my videos, I have Jason Dentist, I have my sign up stuff. So let's see what we're missing. Oh, I need to do my like cleaning day thing. So I'm just obsessed with these colors. I think I'm going to do this guy here um, because I kind of like doing these two together. So I'm going to do that. And then I do have a cleaning day here, I think. Yeah, clean house. And I have icons, so I can use little house. And I need this guy here. This just gives me an idea of what I need to get done for cleaning. Um, and it, it, it's like a good reminder too because I swear when the weekend gets crazy, I almost forget that like we also <laughs> need to take care of the house. So I always do laundry. You guys are probably so sick of me doing this whole process, but laundry. And then I like to clean the bathrooms. And then tidy. And tidy is really just whatever needs to get done. Believe it or not, guys, I actually ordered pictures for our living room finally. So that's really exciting. Um, I'm hoping to put those up soon. I think they'll arrive, I think they'll arrive like on the 8th or 9th. So that might be something that the elf helps us with. He might actually put those up um, and like surprise Macy that way. Cause it's always nice to have help from the elves. Okay, so we have that in. What else am I missing? I feel like there's something else that I need to put in. New releases, oh, I need to put the hating game in and then, oh, I need to put my post next, last week. That's always something that I like to do. Uh, yeah, I think that's it though. I need to post my last week. So I think I'm gonna use my little guy here and I might bring in some more of the green and use this okay so that'll be perfect um, let me, before I do that though, I'm going to put together like a little to-do list. It's always nice to have this all set up and ready to go so that when I come in or like when I'm thinking about what needs to get done, I can like start filling things in. So... We'll put this here. So I'll have a to-do list and then I'll just put this guy down as well. So I can remember to post that, that'll be good. Um, that's always important. I need to put the hating game. So let's see, we have a little TV and I might do kind of the same thing here. So just kind of like a little reminder that it's out and um, 
maybe I'll put it up. No, I don't want it to match too much. I might just put it down here and hopefully we'll get to go see it. Like I'm really hoping we get a date night because that'd be nice to have a date night. Um, so that's out. There was something that I just thought of. Oh, Jason's parents' house and Macy. I almost forgot that too. That would not be good. Um, let me see. I might use some of my functional stickers for that. If I have like a red house or something, that might be good or a greenhouse. I have like very slim options nowadays because I have used a lot of them. I need to replenish some of my stuff. Um, I can use one of those when we go see it. Or I should have used that for the hating game. Oh well, that's okay. There's two greens here that would be good. That would match kind of well. So I think I'm gonna do that. I always forget to use the stuff that I already have like in here. Um, so Macy will be at Jason's parents' house from like four to eight PM. And she loves to go and hang out with Jason's dad. It's like one of her favorite things to do. There's one day um, where I think she like, I don't know, she was just kind of being off. She didn't want to go to school. It wasn't that she like wasn't feeling well or anything. Oh, and that works out really nice because Jason's a dentist appointment. So I can just go home. Um, I won't have to actually worry about picking up Macy that day. That works out so nicely. <laughs> So nicely. Last week I made the mistake of drawing out both days. Like she was originally supposed to go to Jason's parents' house on Tuesday and that got canceled because Jason's dad had to pick somebody up from the airport. And then we decided to move it to Monday, but then I think Jason's mom or dad didn't feel well or something. So they canceled both days. So I wrote little lines down both days and yeah. So I'm going to be risky again and draw out lines, even though I probably shouldn't because it might get canceled, but that's okay. Um, usually it doesn't matter because, you know, my stickers are removable. So it's like if something changes, who cares? I'll just move the sticker. Um, but those days I had to get creative and like cover it up because it got canceled. So anyway, that is Macy with Jason's parents, and then we'll be having dinner at their house. So I'm gonna put in 5 p.m. dinner at Yaya's. And I'm not going to draw a line down for this one because this one might actually get canceled. If we decide to have a date night we might like instead of doing dinner just say oh we'll drop the kids off on saturday so we'll kind of see when it comes to that i'm trying to think if there's anything else that i need to put in is there anything else that i'm forgetting i have macy with jason's parents on on wednesdays i've mentioned this before but i don't like writing against the coil so that's why i pull in these ombre checklists i normally use them and you guys probably saw it before but i normally use them here I'll occasionally use them at night if I have stuff going on and then I'll use it on the weekends as well. One thing that I like to do on the weekends and maybe I did it like this past time, but is I like to put together a to-do list. Yeah, I did it here. Um, and it's not necessarily for either day. It's just, okay, this is what I need to get done for work. Um, and I like that it's on one of these like ombre checklists because I don't know, for some reason it just stands out a little bit more to me. Also, I feel like it, I don't know because it's not on my planner. I don't feel like I'm, I don't know. I don't, I don't know how to explain it, but anyway, that's kind of my thought process there. Is there anything else, anything else? And I don't like to write, like I don't put these down right now because I don't like to write against the coils. So I'll wait and then do it. Um, I think, let's see, I'm gonna put my coffee time in, I think. Let's see. Coffee time.
And I was thinking it might be cute to do on one of these things, but it might not, like, it's kind of skinny, so we'll see how it works. I feel like you won't actually see much of the flag. No, you don't really see much of it, so it doesn't make a ton of sense to do that. So we'll put that guy back. I always do it on, I always do it just like on here. Um, and believe me, I have coffee every day, but I feel like it's just kind of fun that I get to have my coffee and like design or do something in the office. Like I get in early, so it's kind of fun to do that. And then I think Jason and Mila and them will come for a lunch date on Friday as well. It's normally what we do. So I'm going to use one of these guys. And I don't, we don't really have it like a specific time. So I'm just going to use this to mark that. I'll put it around, mm -hmm. you know what? I'm not gonna mark it after all because I wanna leave space for my to-do list. I feel like this is getting too, too much. So they come on Fridays. I don't need to mark it cause it doesn't really change much for me. Jason normally, Jason or my sister will pick up things. So that'll be good. But yeah, guys, I think that's pretty much it. I really love how this turned out. I think it's beautiful. I love like all the red and the green, but also the pops of blue. I feel like it really looks pretty with um, this washi down there. But yeah, that is pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll definitely keep you guys updated. I'll share the spread once it's all over with, um, and I'll show you guys kind of what what it looked like after the fact. I'm really hoping that there's a date night around here. Um, but yeah, besides that, that is it. So let me know what you guys used for this week. Are you guys officially using some of the more like Christmassy holiday type of kits? Are you using some other kits from previous months? Let me know what you guys are using and I will see you guys next time. Bye guys.